Right golfers, one of the most simple questions I get asked over and over again is tee height with an iron from the tee. So let's address it. It can be simplistic, but it also can be complex. Uh, while at the same time, it can help you get better if you understand how to use your tee height when it comes to iron shots from the tee to your advantage. Let's show you what I mean. So I am 180 yards to the middle of the green and I've got my free T height. So one very high, I've got a seven iron, one medium, which I would say is the more common, and then one on the ground. Now the one on the ground, just to give you some context, I would knock a bit of ground up to try and make sure that it's slightly up. So it's just coming up to like second groove feeling. Well, not many golfers would have the higher of the three there. Some do. Uh, medium irons off a high tee like that, it, it just, it's a bit crazy and it affects your golf in so many ways. Let, let's talk about that one to start. It's almost like a drive height. So the first thing that's got to happen is I'm literally going to take the tee from underneath that ball. So I now need to stand very differently to hit this one. And without the ground as a reference point, it does make me feel like, well, the ball's just floating in midair and I could get underneath it, I could top it. Like, this out of all the threes is going to be the hardest for me to hit as someone who strikes their irons relatively well. So if you're someone who's pushing that ball really high like this one, you need to stop. Because the main reason as well is that you're going to play such a small percentage of your shots from a high tee like this. Training any of your techniques from that kind of height is awful for the majority of your game, which is going to be played from the ground. Beginner golfers, when they come for lessons, they try and tee the ball up like up there with irons. I get them on the ground, on the mat, in the first lesson quick as possible. Just build better disciplines of trying to learn about to hit the ball when it's on the ground and get your club interacting with the ground. So the high, high one, unless you're great at it, if you're great at anything in any of the videos I say, just keep doing what you're great at. I'd never try and stop someone be great at something. But if you're doing that one for most golfers, let's stop it. So next one, the medium high tee. This one's lined up almost with the middle of my club. Makes sense, doesn't it? Makes you again feel like, you know, that's where you're trying to hit it ideas that this one encourages with kind of medium irons is to hit this one where I feel personally like I need to hit the ball on the way up. So my club needs to be traveling up as I hit the ball. When I hit the ball with my irons, I want my club traveling down because remember the discipline from the ground is really what I need. I don't want such a massive jump of positioning with it hitting on the way up. And then the other thing with hitting on the way up is it tends to add loft. Remember these clubs have loft. So I might lose distance, might go high, but won't go to distance I need it to go. So for those golfers with it in the medium height, what I would like to see you do is push it down so there's a tiny bit of tee out of the ground. So now we're lining the ball up more with the middle of it with like the third groove on your club. And now this is a height I would use. It allows me to hit down at the ball. It makes me feel like I've got a cushion of being able to get it up the face without having to try. And to be honest with you, 99.9% .9 of golfers, me included, good players included, just use this tee height. Why give yourself any disadvantage? This is going to be easier to hit clean, control spin, not get stuff caught between the face and the ball. Stuff getting caught between the face and the ball is where spin drops off, then your distances will change. So this is a great way from the tee ground of trying to control the situation. So where, you know, you've got your famous Jack Nicholas quote is if you can use a tee, use it. I think there's a lot of merit in that. A, it's a little bit easier to strike it for lots of people, but B, it's more the controlled factor that you're not getting rubbish between the face and the ball to give you a more consistent flight in a game that we're all pretty inconsistent at. And then this last one, the knocked up bit of turf. You'll see me do it, you'll see Matt do it, you'll see generally better players do this one. Now, why would you do that when I've already stated the ball from the tee is going to encourage a better, cleaner strike? Well, these three shots for me and for lots of students when I work with students, encourage different shapes. So this is where we get onto the complex part of this, where you can use tee height to try and help you even with an iron. So if I go for the really high one, the driver one, I'm gonna hit the shot here. I don't feel like I can fade this ball very easily. So this tee shot actually is quite hard if you're not fading it. So with it teed up this high, I feel like it's gonna be more drawy. I feel like I can get up and out of it. And I do feel like I'm gonna get a lot of height on it. And I've hit that one not bad, but it was definitely near the top of the club. It was hitting, so basically much more up here, which kills the distance slightly. The next one, the medium tee high, I feel I could hit fade, draw anything. 
like I could do whatever I need to from that tee. Which again is why it's maybe the most gaming position. It's cleanness of strike because you're not getting all the stuff trapped between the face. And I feel like I could do anything from it. And when I measure amateur golfers, if I ask them to move path, that height feels easier than maybe the last one. So medium height here, I can do what I want to do, hit my stock shot. I could move if I want, I could punch it. I feel like I could hit it high as well. And that's my desired flight, much better strike. It's pretty much a straight shot at the flag, just like two yards right. And then the last one, the knocked up bit of turf, why would I ever make it harder for myself? Well, the knocked up bit of turf sometimes feels easier with more lofty clubs, wedges, nine irons, where you do tend to just train them from the ground. The other thing with the knocked up bit of turf, if I wanted to hit like a gentle little fade, I feel like I can because it's going to be gentle in a couple of ways. One, I'm going to try and swing it more gentle, add more loft with the dynamics of my delivery. But two, I'm going to be hitting it more near the bottom of my club. The one that I hit near the top of my club had low spin and flew quite a long way. That second shot went my stock yardage. When I look at those balls on the green, I can see that the one that was teed up really high has got more pin eye to the back. It's quite funny. This one ball on the ground, well, I'm really gonna take this camera out. I'm gonna try and start it up the left. I feel like it might go in a bit lower. I'm gonna hit a softer seven and just fade it in there. So starting up the left and just moving it back. So I'm using my T height around my visions of the shot. Rule of thumb for most amateurs, most common. When it comes to T height with irons, for lots of amateur golfers, far too high. Let's get that tee height lower. Let's get the discipline closer to the ground, which is where you're going to be hitting most of your iron shots from. And then in turn, play with a bit of tee height, see what it does, heights, distance, directions, shapes of shots, and use that in situations. Different tee shots require different shapes, different questions. This is a funnel for me starting up the left here i can't hit my draw so i'd have to fade it wind off the right that might be an option if you go and put wind off the right here i can't basically get left enough to start it right enough so i have to have some options and t height can do that let me know if this uh, makes sense if it helps or not it's a common common question i got and hopefully it answers a few of you and gives you some weapons to get out there and play some better golf